know what happened. And there are so many likely scenarios that I couldn't even venture a guess. I just know that it's a, a terrible tragedy for him, obviously, for his wife and for their daughter. And I just feel so sad for their whole family. Um, and what I didn't get a sense of anything that uh, uh, wasn't quite right. They seemed uh, very in tune um, with uh, with each other as far as what they want. You know, they want to do the right thing for their daughter. That's all. But when we were in the bedroom, which is in the front of the house, uh, we heard the truck, and we knew it wasn't the garbage truck. Cause it comes Thursday. We looked out, and we saw a huge uh, fire truck, and then saw all the the, co the police squad cars didn't hear anything before because we were in the back of the house and uh, we're renovating so there's a lot of noise in the house and uh, we couldn't see fire so we were wondering what was going on and we went back to doing what we were doing and then I heard sobbing what sounded like a man sobbing and uh, I ran downstairs because I knew something was wrong and in my gut I just knew it was something bad and I came out and I saw my neighbor and he was uh, sitting on the on the driveway, the side of his driveway. And uh, he looked like he was uh, devastated and his hand was, uh, his head was leaning on his hand. And I crossed over and the policeman, one of the policemen asked me to go back to the other side. And uh, I asked him if there was anything that I could do. And he said, no. And uh, I just, I just wanted to go over because I, I looked around, I saw there were no neighbors out and nobody that he knew. I didn't know what happened, but I just wanted to do something to help him. Now that you know.